Oh, that's not ideal. Get the brakes though. Oh, squeezy boy, no! <laughs> okay. Yikes. Feel a little gilly. Oh, this is terrible. I think I just got called a cheater in chat, by the way. I think vertical drivers out. I think I just get shot from the right as well. There's no way I bounced an 88. Yo. We are the, the luckiest. Alive. Oh, it was my turret ring. Let's get this dog scared out. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, we are out, dude. <laughs> the brawler got brawled. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I was feeling a little bit under the weather, not been feeling so great, it's been very hot here in Scotland, very humid and I've not really been sleeping very well. So today I thought I'd bring out a tank that's easy and very fun for me to play, this is the M24 Chaffee. Now I'm going to show off two games in this vehicle and they are two of the best games I've ever had in this vehicle, absolutely insane gameplay. <laughs> if you thought the squeezy boy video was good this one i think you'll find just on par or maybe even a little bit better now when i first played war thunder i kind of glanced over this thing because i looked at its armor value straight away and it doesn't really sport really impressive armor and i thought at the time that i'd started playing that armor was really everything when it came to a tank but we all know now that's just not the case now, this little beast is a light tank, it sits at 3.3, it gets scouting, it's got a 75mm M6 cannon and a 50 cal on top. And this thing is as good as an SPAA <laughs> as it is a light tank. The elevation on the 50 cal can go very high, the turret turns pretty well, so you can track aircraft in the sky, especially if they're low flying and nearby, and rip them to shreds with a 50. Of course, you're going to come across pumas and things like that as well. You'll shred with them, open top vehicles, and it does that job very well too. Now, when it comes to the main gun, there's rarely a tank at 3.3 and even all the way up to 4.3 that can take a frontal hit from this thing. Sure, you'll struggle with Hesters and things like KV-1s, but if you get side shots on KV-1s and if you get a side shot on a Hester, the 75 is more than adequate to go through. But the thing that makes this tank really shine is its acceleration. This thing can get up to 40 km an hour no problem at all, and it also has a reverse gear. And assisting with that, the suspension is pretty advanced for its time and it really shows in War Thunder. And it has the short stabilizer as well. Vertical stabilization is a big deal when it comes to this battle rating. And lo and behold, it also has negative 10 gun elevation. So we can play on defilades very, very well. 
And there's just something about playing a light tank where you can't really take a hit. You gotta play kind of sneaky, you gotta use your mobility, and I find that's the most fun that I have in War Thunder. It's kind of like a miniature T20, that tank that we covered a week ago, in the way that you gotta work on your own survival to get your kills, and yeah, it's a very rewarding vehicle to play. Now for our aircraft, I'm gonna take something that's not really suitable for ground derby. This is the XP38G, and this was one of the first aircraft premiums I ever purchased. Now at 3.3, I would normally take a Wildcat, or possibly even a Corsair, but I thought we'd just bring this thing out because it's got the 20 mil and 2,000 rounds of 50 cal. Anyway, I'm sure you're all excited to see the gameplay. Let's get into it. Okay, Japan. I'm not on the side of the map that I enjoy. We probably would have done really well on the other side, actually. I'm gonna go on a left flank here and see what we can do. Artillery being dropped over this side. I really need to stop playing this time of night. The ping, like being a hundred, that's not really the problem. I don't think it's showing the packet loss really what it's like, but it's like I'm driving forwards and it's like vacuuming me backwards constantly. It's really strange. And my, my, cr my crosshair is like fighting me. It's really odd, dude. The US servers are really terrible compared to the EU ones. Something is right in front of me here. Don't know if he's climbing as well. I think he is actually. He's waiting on me. Very quick rate of fire. Swedish thing. Lago. It's quite a fast boy. Should maybe go down my... Uh, my teammates keep dropping artillery on me, I don't know why. Something trying to climb this mountain as well. Quite a few things behind this hill, I think. Oh, hi. Oh, there he is. How's a 4F2 just shot this guy? I think another one may be Billy Goat in there as well. Oh, he had a little accident there. His gunner's out. He may just shot him as well. Try and get this guy first. That's gonna cost him. We we'll have to try and flank this guy, otherwise he's gonna just turn around. Now I'm fairly sure we disabled everything in that thing's turret. Just wanna be sure. Okay. Quite a few things push the sea, I reckon. I'm just gonna smoke this area out. Don't wanna go towards our spawn. That same lago is back. In that same spot. A big game over here. Oh, 05 Sherman is defending this side. Maybe the majority of the enemy went to sea? I don't see anything over next to A. That's for sure. Right, okay. I think C would have been the better choice now. Looking at what's going on in the map. But it 
might give us the element of surprise, maybe? That guy is up there still. Put him on something else. Let's get rid of this. Okay, that was very short. Stupid. He's backing up. Got him. And there's another one up there. I think it's a Puma. I'll ignore it for now. Push up a little bit. Another Swede. That guy is moving. There's one and then there's another one just behind him too. Speedy Swedes. I'm in trouble. Scout him. Damn, he got my breach, dude. Yikes. I think he just fired artillery at me as well. The repair isn't that long, but it's long enough. Something is pushing me very fast. Two, one. Scout target damaged. Okay. I think he's coming through the smoke towards me. Oh my god, dude. Ah, there he is. That's the guy that's been giving our team a lot of difficulty. I'm scouted though. Hopefully he backs up again. Or I can get a different angle on him. Something at the other side of this too. Bad shot. The stabilizer kind of kicked down a little bit. Okay, this guy might push my front. Yeah, he is. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> We're brilliant each other. Okay, my turret ring is out. No! Okay, there's one. Kind of stuck on him. Can I get a teammate to help, maybe? I think a teammate did help. There's no way this is working. This guy won't get depression. Can I get that in cover? Oh, <laughs> oh dear. This has gone surprisingly well. This dude in the T-50, I think, is now shooting this guy. Well, what is happening here? This T-50 is having a sort of ring of rosy with this murder or whatever it is. Trumpet cannon. Bad shot, but I got his driver. Okay. Oh. Stop. Okay, we are really damaged now. I got a red... Red gunner. My turret ring is out. Let's keep kicking smoke in their face. This is one of the reasons the Chaffee's my favourite tank. A light tank, anyway. Such a beast. When I get an ace crew, it's going to be even better. <laughs> Whatever that is, lobbing shots there too. Another... Another tank coming up that road. Come on, Chaffee, I need you to get through here. This red gunner is not good news either. Panzer. I think we may be done here. There's two opponents. My red gunner's got such a long reload as well now. Stug. Oh, 
think that stuff may have taken a hit. My last smoke grenade. Okay. Something's down in this little valley as well. Another tank destroyer of some sort. Dead. Oh, artillery killed him. Well, that was absolutely wild. That, eh... Uh... Oh. Damn, dude. Oh. <laughs> 17 kills, dude. 17 kills. But yeah, that Panzer screwed over that Swedish guy so bad, and that's why I killed them both. Oh my god, we just get really overwhelmed there. Alright, we still got our P-38 though. Our team is all over them right now. We got all the caps. No enemy here at all. Not that I see anyway. We got 150 rounds of 20 mil for dealing with tougher targets. And we're getting 2,000 rounds <laughs> of 50 cal. One enemy air coming in. We'll do one strafe run. And then we'll go after that plane. I've changed my mind. We're going after the plane. He's a lot closer than I thought he was. I'll have to energy fight whatever this is. He is... Yeah, okay. That's going to be a struggle, my guy. Bring him up to the clouds here. Two engines better than one. Looks like he's given up. I think that's a J22. I don't want to get in that thing's guns. Is he still pulling up for me? Yes, he is. Okay. Pull away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Those, uh, if those are the 13 mils, I'm actually lucky to get away with that. I can't remember which J22 gets those 13s, but one of them does, and it's absolutely brutal. <laughs> they hit like 151 German uh, cannons when they hit, but they've got the laser accuracy of 50 kills. Like the best of both worlds. I'm oh, smoking a little bit. That's not going to matter much. You can fly this thing in one engine. Easy peasy. It looks like we're going to pick the game up anyway. For sure. I don't even see anything down in the ground anymore. Our team just completely silenced the enemy. <laughs> what a game though. What a game. And that's going to be it, I think. No, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, why is this taking so long? Alright, Frozen Pass 3 cap. This is a Chaffee's wet dream, dude. And we're with Russia. This is honestly perfect. We got the Swedes as well. This is the makings for something great right now. These guys are going to go up and cap A. Eh? My, uh, my well-being is starting to deteriorate, so... My... <laughs> My concentration skills and temper are definitely swaying by a few rain games and stuff. And I can't record those because YouTube's compressions doesn't deal very well. Even the white speckles of snow here aren't going to be that great. But it's not full snow. It's really bad for making videos actually. The Gaijin's weather system's rubbish. You got all these weird funky patterns like a digi camo. It looks terrible. Takes ages to render too. That's a scary machine.
Got him scared up though. Oh, here we go. Murder that thing with impunity. First spawn warblers. I will go for every time. Without fail. Our team is all over here now. So A cab is ours. We need to be going to B cab shortly now. That we can do. Just gotta give it a minute or two. Okay, the folks we just killed are now trying to revenge after us. Not a bad plan, honestly, when you've got a bunch of chappies sitting on a hill. But here we go. Let's get this guy scouted up. Nope, that's not gonna happen. That guy just realized last second. Another dude here we can scout. It's a. Uh, there we go. A real fight. I think he's shooting over me, this guy. Unless he can't see me. Yeah, he's not tracking me. There's a flag bus somewhere as well. I've lost eyes on this T-34. There he is. Hope oh, somebody's re-scouted him. Two vehicles down there, Italian boy. Which is actually scary if he's firing heat. No, you can't aim this way. Missed a shot on him. Esther's coming. Missed his barrel. I went for it though. This SU85 will go through no issues at all. I went for the T34 instead. Can't get the track shot. No, I did, I did, I got him. I got his track. There he goes. Nice job, dude. I'm gonna throw a smoke in front of this T34. We can. There you go, buddy. Hopefully he can escape now. This is intense, dude. Panzer 3 is now dead. That guy can hopefully escape now too. I had a smoke bomb over this side. Ah, he got killed by the P-40. Whatever the P-40 is now. That is a scary machine, dude. Well, he's gone. Where are you, chief? I kinda see him. Not in pen. Not a good place to hit that guy. He's gone now, I think, as well. Oh, is this guy making a mistake? Yep, he is. Already dead. <laughs> Already dead. Black bus. Hey, I got a shot right now. Right, P40, me and you, the battle of the ages. I think he's still there. Yeah, he is for sure. It's pushing slightly further round again. I 
God, the, the chaff is so cheeky. <laughs> the stab is so useful. Yeah, where are you at, dude? Where's this P40 at? I know you're down there. Yes, you 57 there too. I can hear that ASU's engine as if it's inside my left ear. There he is. One pen again. I think the ASU maybe scout him? No, he can't. <laughs> Actually... Yeah, he's kinda... I was gonna shoot his, uh... Lower front. Because yeah, there was a bit of building I could see through. Right, loads of enemies left. I wanna move now. Oh no, there's a SPAA. Warble. No, flag pans are 38. This is the Gepard, right? The most dangerous foe yet. He's been checking the kill feed, he knows I'm here. I'm just gonna mark this building. Drop some Ari in that gap. Yep, back up time. See if this Arty will do his magic. Oh yeah, there we go, we got a hit on him. Ah, he's pummeling him. I didn't kill him though, sadly. Look at those trees. Should have done that a long time ago, actually. Oh, there he goes. T-3457 got him. There's still a lot of enemies. They're not giving up, dude. This is a rare occurrence of this BR, even. I'm gonna back it up and head up this way. Right, French Sherman is gonna be a problem. Right, there's a guy up here right in front of us. One's a 4F2. Okay. I bet he's been a real pest to our teammates. Something is on B. Couple of things down here though. That's our Sherman dude. I wish I'd killed him there. Come on. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's the scariest thing in the match now, dead. Oh, I just spotted this guy. Okay. I think that's our ace. Double ace. This is such a dangerous position. Yeah, when I said this map is a wet dream for a chaffy, I really meant it. On that little section there, being able to go forwards and back in reverse, peeking shots like that, it's really hard to get rid of a guy <laughs> that's on that rock, dude. I don't really like going that way late in the game. You need to be super early. Oh, here comes the here comes the combo breaker. 
spaghetti wind. We got him though. Something fired at me from here. Ah, there we go, Stug. 11 kills, 3 assists. I am very, very pleased. <laughs> That'll do me, dude, for sure. Bonk. I'm glad it was you and not a spaghetti wind or a verbal wind. Absolute chat in a TBF. There's an R3T20 down here. That's not good. That's probably the guy on the B cap. Still, uh, still five guys left, dude. This this game is definitely not over. Two in a spawn that I can see just on my nose there. Boop. Yo, guy down in C. Stug 3, looks like. That is exactly what we are going to come down and try and do a wee bit of damage to see if we can save some of our teammates some grief. Okay, R3's on me now. We are out of here for a minute. Oh yeah, he hit me. Okay, we're not going to lose C anyway. Yeah, medium tank pushing that R3 down there. B cap. You can see the guy on B cap. Well, leaving it now. I think this is the guy who killed me. I'm going to leave him. R3s just have more armor than they need. <laughs> yeah, like Fly says, dude, no armor's best armor. And it really works, dude. It really works. Right, we give that Stug a bit of a chance, and I don't want to be toxic and revenge kill him. Because he worked really hard for that B cab. Now we're back on equal terms. I don't know where he is. Oh, well, we know where he is now. Oh, this, he's had his barrel shot out. Um. Okay. I was going to shoot his engine just to set him on fire. And he'll probably kill... <laughs> he'll probably kill that AEC. Oh, BT-5 is going to kill him. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll take the kill. I want that BT-5 getting it. That was our relationship. Oh, stuck. Mm -hmm. An F this time. Okay, we're getting beat. And that should be game. Yeah, looks like it. Four enemies left. Taking the last cap, and there's the last stick is gone. Oh, <laughs> GG. <laughs> and that is the Chaffee. And there's a reason I love this tank so much, and hopefully it came across in this video. It's just an absolute joy to kind of bumble around. Just happy slapping every tank that we come across. And I take this thing all the way up to kind of 5.3, 5.7 battle rating range. Anyway, one additional thing. We just passed 25 thousand subscribers on the channel and uh, we'll do something special on saturday i think i had kind of planned on doing something today because i was a little bit under the weather uh, i was gonna do a little face reveal and we'll save that for the weekend anyway thank you guys very much for watching much love and bye bye